done drizzling out here so I can start some work on this solar panel. So I got these, uh, I don't know, whatever they're made out of, some kind of composite plastic. Now I gotta mount the clamps, the railing on the cross. Section. Okay, now I gotta take these back off so I can put the bolts through and get the put the clamps on and then put those on. make a little L bracket to attach this on there. So that would help when the sun's over there. Of course I can't tilt it this way or this way, but this should work good for what I need right now. So I bought this pass-through deck fitting. It's got little rubber grommets in there. But that's actually way too big for that. Maybe I'll have to put it 
here. Okay, I'm gonna mount this pass through for the cables, and then they're gonna go up here right to the panel. I guess I have to take it back off for some unknown reason or move the wire. this one here just tighten these up they're like a compression fitting with foam around the cable okay I'm not going to connect these up right now because the other end would then have uh, power coming through it this will be on so this would be the last connection I would make um, after I get it all wired up to the controller and that's the only thing I have left to do uh, underneath is lazarette but I'm running out of daylight the moon's out over there The casino, no windows, which is nice. Can't ever hear anybody in there. It's a beautiful night, and hopefully, I'll be sailing this weekend. We shall see. Okay, I got the solar panel hooked up a couple days ago. Now I gotta just wire it up to the controller so it comes from. Back there, I just got it zip tied by this bilge hose for now. I'm gonna go to the controller. And then I gotta make two jumpers to go from the controller to the batteries. So I made a jumper. This is gonna go to battery. But I remember reading somebody said that 10 gauge doesn't fit in. In the little slot for these. And which I can't see the slot. I have to trim some of these off.
Now the instructions it said to hook it up to the battery first. Yeah, covered the top of it with some towels just to be safe. There's positive, there's negative. Getting negative up first. Cable. All right, this off. Now there is a way to connect this up with Bluetooth with my phone. This voltage is going up. It was at 12.3, I believe, earlier. And now it's at 13.4, 13.5. It's climbing, so it is charging. We have liftoff, solar power. Okay, I just uh, downloaded the Victron firmware. Now it's saying, don't leave the app until the update is in process. Update. All right, smart solar device connecting. So it looks like it's putting out 29 watts at 22 volts current, 1.3 amps. Oh. The battery is at 13.4, current 1.9 amps, state bulk, load, I don't have a load hooked up, everything's running through the, uh, through the boat, that's just if you want to have an extra side load coming directly out of the controller, so it appears to be working. Awesome.